Hey there, fellow Simitar here, and I hope you're doing well and healthy. First of all, I want to heartily thanks to each and every patron of mine. You are giving a tremendous help to channel possibility of working. To those who are watching my channel, world's economy going not that good during the quarantine, advertisers are pulling out, and this results in ridiculous decrease of income I receive through channel monetization. This basically forcing me into hard choice to look for freelance work instead of working on YouTube to sustain myself. If you like my videos, modding guides and other projects and want to see them coming in regular frequency or coming at all, today your support is incredibly important. Each and any pledge on my Patreon page is incredibly appreciated. And think a bit about supporting other independent artists you like, because most likely they're struggling same as me. Link is down below in video description. Thank you so much and let's proceed to video. Skyrim is a game that simply doesn't get old, and not without the help of a huge, passionate modding community. Survival gameplay, basic needs, weather effects, diseases and so on. All this is very important for many RPG players and many gamers in general, as while not directly affecting difficulty in the combat, survival elements are greatly improving the feeling of realism, the presence in the game, and, in the end, making everything, even combat, much more challenging and immersive. Today I will show you a dozen plus mods to add survival gameplay to Skyrim in many directions. If you always wanted to try this, there is no better mod list for you, and even if you are a veteran modded Skyrim player, you'll find a couple of hidden gems in the list to polish your immersion even more. Let's go! First of all, the holy trinity of survival mods and their lightweight analogs in case you already have heavy scripted Lord Order. Campfire is the ultimate camping mod, which offers huge amount of features, craft backpacks and tents to use and place them when needed, chop wood and gather branches as resources to light your campfire, which you can light with strike stone or magic, sit near the fire, sleep inside your tent or just lie down and look on the stars. Control the lights and pack your tent anytime. In addition, the more camping you do, the more experienced you become in this, opening new unique perks, which help you with exploration and survival. Lastly, the whole mod is extremely configurable, from hotkeys to all mod features and do you want to undress or not during the sleeping. Campfire serves as a ground base for other survival-centered mods, directly interacting with the next two mods. There are also a few several useful add-ons for it linked in the video description. But what if your Lord Order is already pretty script-heavy and you want something similar but more lightweight? No problems, grab the Campsite mod, which is not much feature-packed as a campfire but still has all needed basic camping things. Skyrim is a cold northern land with harsh weathers, cold waters and chilling snowstorms. On papers. But what if your character actually experienced this in the most realistic feature-packed mod? Get Frostfall, a complementary mod for campfire and simply the most amazing survival creation ever made for Skyrim. Types of clothing and armor now actually make sense when traveling in cold regions of the game, you can catch cold and even freeze to death if you will not prepare yourself by wearing warm clothes and set a camp to sleep. Frostfall introduces a complex system of how weather affects you, which you, though, can tweak as much as you want. If you see it too hard and too intrusive or too easy, wanna have yourself say by bypassing people and wake up in tavern after freezing reaches maximum level, or wanna your character life actually end? You to decide. Traveling in cold regions or snowstorms can easily freeze you, walking under the rain make you wet and catch cold, swimming in frigid water is also dangerous until you have special protecting clothing. Every negative state you catch affects your character directly, via various logical debuffs, plus almost all effects have visual shaders on the screen for even bigger immersion. Lastly, similar to Campfire, Frostfall has own perks package, which you can pick at Campfire interface when have enough experience points. Frostfall is an essential mod for survival gameplay, but if you are not sure about its complexity or script weight, you can always get the Frostbite mod, which is much more simple, yet has everything needed for basic cold temperature survival. 
Now we have where to sleep and a reason to have warm clothes, but how about basic needs like hunger, thirst and fatigue? There is no better mod for that than I need. In vanilla game food and drinks basically didn't have any purpose besides maybe the urgent healing by eating like 50 cabbages in a row. I need as the basic needs system, making this part of the game actually needed and immersive. It is simple and brilliant at the same time. You need to eat, drink and sleep from time to time. These periods, by the way, are easily configured in MCM. If you will not eat, drink and sleep, you will receive debuffs, which will become more and more worse with time, up to really harsh ones or even deaths, but only if you will decide to take this option on in MCM once again. At the same time, you can refill your water skins from wells, preserve the food, and when sated, well rested and drinking enough water, vice versa to debuffs, you will receive small pleasant bonuses. I need also has plenty of optional immersive features, drunk visuals and gameplay effects when drinking too much alcohol, food spoilage, follower needs and more, everything adjustable up to your likings. There is one important note though, do not install a dangerous diseases plugin, other mod will cover this. If you want something more lightweight and simple, take a look at vitality mode linked in video description. Now to complement the I need, let's make the variety of food and drinks much bigger. The mealtime mod has so many new recipes of food and drinks that making only one portion of each will be enough to feed whole white run and hide a few for quarantine. Cakes, soups, meat dishes, alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks with various bonuses, over 120 recipes to make your inner gourmet dance. Now we need to equip and protect ourselves better in harsh weather conditions, right? Clocks of Skyrim, bandoliers, bags and pouches, and equipable tomes are three great mods which add additional pieces of gear which can help you in travels and just give you more seasonate wonder look. One of the basic options for survival immersion is to disable fast travel, in Frostfall MCM for example, but at this point, vanilla Skyrim carriage system will be just not enough due to lack of route options. Carriage and ferry travel overhaul adds dozens of new places you can ride to in each hold, adds carriages to settlements that previously didn't have them, adds ferries to travel across the north coast, lakes and rivers, and you can even build your own jetty and hire a ferryman at Lakeview and Winstead Manors. Prices for each ride were also rebalanced to be more reasonable. Diseased Diseases System Overhaul is what you need to turn Skyrim diseases into a real gameplay mechanics you need to take into account. Most of diseases, besides the lightest ones like ataxia or rattles, will eventually turn out fatal if you ignore them. Diseases were also not only made stronger, so you actually need to take care of them as soon as possible, but they are also now progressive, getting worse and worse and worse over time if not healed. Take the last stage of rattles, for example. Hard to run away from a beer when your stamina doesn't regenerate and you have a chance to be staggered, right? Player even can have a small chance to catch a disease simply by wandering the world, just like in real life. At the same time, your arsenal is also expanded. You can make not only new medicines, but even collect saliva from dead bees and make disease poisons. Witcher 3 had a great system of toxicity related to potions, meaning that potions are not just your clean water you can consume endlessly and can bring own consequences if used too often. Chasing the Dragon, Toxicity and Addiction recreates a similar system in Skyrim, making you care about potions usage and don't consume them blindly. As you consume more and more potions, the level of toxicity in your blood increases, applying debuffs. In addition, you can even develop an addiction to potions, which as a real addiction should, progresses over time with more and more severe penalties. You can either consume yet another potion to make a quick fix, but this will not cure the addiction or wait for longer time to overcome this addiction, very realistic system. But worry not, you can configure each and every mod parameter up to your taste. Tempering equipment in Skyrim was quite unrealistic. You use a single ingot once and bam, your weapon is permanently improved for infinite amount of time. 
loot and degradation changes that. Temperate items no longer retain their temperate state forever and will degrade in quality over time as you strike with your sword, draw the bow, block with your shield or take damage uh, with your armor. You can even select an option in mod configuration menu that item can break completely when totally degraded. Yet you can use the scrap metal received in future. To help you with that, Skyrim blacksmiths now offer temporary services for a certain amount of money of course, and you can make mobile repair kits. Mod is extremely configurable. You can tweak degradation speed and all other options for your own feeling of balance. Burdens of Skyrim is yet another realism mod, but despite the name, it doesn't actually affect carry weight directly, but introduces a metric system of strengths needed to carry a weapon or armor. You cannot lift like 200 pounds at your first gym day, right? Same here. Initially, you can wear only lightweight weapons and armors, but the longer you wear them, the more your strength grows, allowing you to equip more heavy stuff. There is also a certain threshold of this. You can wear items which are slightly heavier than your current strength limit, but this will result into a penalty, so think twice about that. Same as previous mod, it is highly configurable in MCM. While Frostfall adds certain debuffs when swimming in frigid water, it doesn't add anything about realistic physics in it, and here Sky Swim and Cumbered Swimming saves the day. When you start swimming, any equipped armor or attire will become extremely encumbering and thus slow you down. However, if you decide to swim naked, without any worn items, you will able to swim again at normal vanilla speed. Exhaustion is a simple audio immersion mod, which plays audible breaths from your character when your health, stamina or magicka drops below a certain percentage, configurable in MCM. One more gameplay aspect which needs a heavy balance and improvements is Skyrim economy. In vanilla game it is simply broken, you are basking in loot, barter is very easy as soon as you level up speech a bit, this can sometimes even lead to cases of generating infinite amount of gold because you can sell items for better prices than you are buying them. Combination of the next three mods, Moral Loot Simplified, Scarcity and You Hunger fixes the loot part of the game. The Moral Loot mod makes loot and leveled list items rational, meaning that rare items like Dwarven or Ebony are really rare and you can find them only in certain usually heavy guarded places. The mere bandits will not wear Daedric armors even on high level, etc. Scarcity reduces the amount of loot in general you can find in containers and enemies, and your hunger decreases the amount of genetic food and drinks you can find in the game world. No more sustaining yourself for a week by robbing a single farmhouse. Trade and barter is the best economy mod ever made. It doesn't only balance the buying, selling prices and barter in general, but adds dozens of dynamic logical conditions which affects prices. Prices will change dynamically based on the city and region, NPC attitude towards you, your faction rank, your behavior and even race. Sell them to the fans, don't expect good prices, right? Trying to buy stuff in Windhelm as an Altmer, well, not the best choice, and so on. Trading barter via mod configuration menu allows you to configure every aspect of trading, balancing the economy greatly. Every country has a tax system, it is a ground base for its financial existence. With two simple mods, taxes of the nine holes and simple taxes, you will now have to pay taxes as a citizen of Skyrim depending on hold, first mod and taxes for your ownership, house, horse, etc. If you will not pay your taxes in time, this will result in a fine and even bounty on your head. Both mods have caused the MCMs where you can configure everything to fit your vision of balance, little yet greatly immersive additions. The last polishing move is to make time itself in-game realistic. In Skyrim, when you are performing any actions which involve interface like trading, crafting, cooking, enchanting, reading, etc., the time in game basically and magically stops. You can read like 10 books in a row and not even a single second will pass. A bit weird for a realistic survival goals, right? Time Passes is a simple mod which makes time actually pass during all such actions, which means if you read 10 books in a row again, you will become hungry and tired because of I need mod, just as it should be. Time going speed is configurable for each action separately in a mod configuration menu. 
That's it for now fellas, it was quite a comprehensive list and I hope you found a few survival realism mods to improve your immersive setup. Don't forget to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. And if you want to help this channel survive during the crisis, consider supporting me on Patreon. All links are down below in video description. Thanks for watching, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.